OpenAI's board is no match for investors' wrath. TechCrunch On Friday, the board of OpenAI, the AI startup behind ChatGPT and other viral AI-powered hits, did s. Own thing unexpected but seemingly well within its right. Removed the company's CEO, Sam Altman. On Saturday evening, just over 24 hours after the OpenAI board unceremoniously announced that Altman would be replaced by Mira Marathi, OpenAI's CTO, on a temporary basis, multiple publications publish. Ed reports suggesting that the OpenAI board was in talks to have Altman return at the helm. Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, a major OpenAI partner, was reportedly furious to learn of ALTM. N's departure minutes after it happened, and has been in touch with Altman, and pledged to support. T him, as OpenAI backers recruit Microsoft's aid in exerting pressure on the board to reverse cower. Say. Below are your comments. Boards have way too much power and are elected no matter who votes against them because it is really not an election it's just a vote for or against and if they get a few votes they are in. They give insiders excessive compensation and steal from shareholders that own the stock. It is time to chan. You don't take a huge, really huge gamble without knowing what your investors will make of it. Who are these no-name posers on the board? Quora CEO. What qualifications does this poser have to be on the board of an AI company or on any board for that matter? It is always sad when established business rot from inside due to few not to wise. There should be some cost, default, on those who mess up and establishment, any establishment. These days with liability falling on the establishment and not on who are the real cause. Law seems to have lost its pure. And the AI didn't see this coming or try to stop it. Next news. Average Medicare Part D premiums could jump as much as 57% in 2024, report. Barons.com. The Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 aimed to lower drug costs for seniors, yet the law may be contra. Buting to increases in Part D premiums for next year, a new study suggests. Average Part D drug premiums will rise by a range of 42% to 57% for 2024, according to the study by HealthView Services, a firm that provides retirement healthcare cost tools and data to financial adva. Isers. When I first saw the numbers, I thought, this has got to be wrong, says Ron Mastro Giovanni, CEO of HealthView Services. Below are your comments. Actually, my Part D plan premium jumped 300% which is why I'm switching to another plan this year. If they can't be loyal to me, I have no reason, incentive to be, remain loyal to them. My well care plan is going down from $10 a month to 0 0.50 cents a month. Of course, I only take a blood pressure and cholesterol script, so pricing of expensive specialty drive. UGS wasn't a concern. And the two I do take, I get those for free if I use the home mail feature. This article seems late for year 2024, the rates have already been published. The KFF study dated November.
8 has projected. Enrollment changes by participants are unknown for waiting purposes, but is published at 21% estimated for PDPs. Out-of-pocket does change the costs beyond published rates Becca. Mine actually went down. This is why I always compare plans during enrollment window, based on Medi. Cations I take. Interesting thing is, many times I pay less for my drugs when I'm not using my Medicare Part D insert. Ants, which in itself is an atrocity. Think about that. It's cheaper to get my D. They told me mine was going from $29 per month to $77. Have a new one now. Next news. Some. Potential. Bad news. You could have to pay taxes on catch-up contributions if you make over $145,000. Smart asset. Catch-up contributions are about to change. Starting in 2024, some workers who make catch-up contributions to employer-sponsored retirement plan. S, like a 401. K, will have to put this money in a Roth account. This means that they cannot deduct these contributions from. Continue reading right pointing arrow the post earn over $145,000? You may have to pay taxes on your catch-up contributions appeared first on Smart Asset blog. Below are your comments. I would love to find out where the $150,000 limit comes from, if, in other income tax discussions the M. Idle class is household incomes of $400,000? Pushing people into Roths only signals to me that somewhere down the road, they have intentions to find a way to tax Roth gains so they as a principal in a small corporation I was limited to 7% maximum contribution in my 401k. With the catch-up I was able to contribute about $12,000 per year. My employees who worked for me were able to contribute almost $30,000 per year. Now our government is taking the deduction away? They're a this compounds a concern I've had for several years now that the federal government will eventually decide to place a small tax on Roth distributions. Is the $150,000 indexed for inflation? If not, it won't be long before more income brackets are paying higher taxes. A big loophole that was added in the recent legislation is a 401k Roth can invest in private company. S. A $1,000 in a Roth can capitalize a new corporation. That NEWCO can run a business that's very profitable by taking a portion of the existing business. All those profits flow into the 401k Roth A. Next news. Tesla beats lawsuit claiming it monopolizes repairs, parts. Reuters. AUS. Judge dismissed an antitrust lawsuit accusing Elon Musk's electric car company Tesla of forcing cust. Omers to pay high prices and suffer long waits for repairs by monopolizing the markets for vehicle M. Maintenance and replacement parts. In a Friday night decision, U.S. District Judge Trina Thompson in San Francisco said customers in the proposed class action failed to show either that the alleged problems were not generally known when they bought their vehicles, or that they could not predict the costs to keep their vehicles running. 
She also said customers could not prove that Tesla coerced them into using its services and parts C. MPLY because they had bought their vehicles in the first place. Below are your comments. Per the judge, maybe buying a car that has competition for maintenance is smarter? Maybe? Consumer protection died long long ago. Judge states that Tesla owners know going in that they will suffer high price repair and long delays. Due to proprietary lock-in. What a ringing endorsement. Seems the individuals involved don't understand the definition of monopoly. If you can afford the purchase price of a Tesla, you can afford the cost of repairs. If you bought a Tesla without considering service options, you got what you deserve. To anyone who pays the slightest bit of attention, it's common knowledge that for any sort of repair or replacement Tesla must be contacted because there are no Tesla certified repair shops. Repair times vary wildly depending on where the person is located. Tesla needs to work on making that more company. Next news. Wall Street has a plan for a soft landing. Buy more stocks. The Wall Street Journal. Many analysts and portfolio managers said they expect the gains to pick up heading into year-end, reflecting a sense that markets have faced down their most significant challenge. The potential for rising bond yields to crimp economic activity, reduce demand for stocks and send T. He U.S. Economy into recession. Stocks appear once again on an upswing, extending a renaissance that began this month when Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen eased fears about a bond market route by tweaking U.S. Debt issuance plans This week, investors will be parsing minutes from the central bank's last meeting for clues on the F. Federal Reserve's continuing effort to contain prices. Below are your comments. Great idea. Everyone load up so that I can dump more over time at a higher profit. Just like the hedge funds. The games that are played on Wall Street. The big boys are in stress. They need to get out of stocks to buy bonds. As rates come down over the next two years the big boys can triple their money. Please help them out and borrow beg steal to buy more. I have bought enough. I will only buy when rates fall now. For the average person the market is a fool's game. In 2023 it has been and still is being manipulated by big money investors. The trouble is the little guy never knows their next moves. If you are not in Congress you are out in the cold. Yeah, a soft landing, for members of the stock exchanges does not equate to anything for the typical investor. Next news. Oil prices surge after falling below key threshold as report says Saudi Arabia plans to extend produce. Cession cuts into 2024. Business Insider. The FT reported Friday that Saudi Arabia is considering prolonging production cuts into 2024. Sendin. G International and U.S. oil prices higher. Below are your comments. Give us all the Venezuelan oil we can handle. Let's get the price down to $40 a barrel. 
$2 gas would help the economy out tremendously. What's not being talked about in this article, is how China has been cornering the market on lithium and motherboard kits. We focused and invested way too many years on war, and have done nothing but gained enemies and import more than we export. Unfortunately, we're leaning far too much on the con. The excuse Wall Street been waiting to hear so they could once again drive up oil prices. Start pulling troops out of the Middle East and put them on our own border. Saudi Arabia is doing what's best for them financially and we should put our troops where they best. Protect our country. If Saudi Arabia stops inflating the oil prices we can send the troops back. The USA is one of the biggest exporters of oil across the world market. All the oil from the Alaskan fields is exported. No new refineries have been built in the US in decades. In fact the oil companies have closed down several refineries across the nation. We have been controlled by the big oil F. Next news. What should your net worth be at retirement? Smart asset. As you approach retirement, your net worth is a key indicator of your financial preparedness. Net worth is a fundamental financial metric in retirement planning because it shows how much wealth you have accumulated and can use to support yourself after you stop working. The net worth varies according to a number of factors, including the post What Should Your Net Worth Be at Retirement? appeared first on Smart Reads by Smart Asset. Below are your comments. I am 59 years old and at age 30 had a net worth of $00. Over the past 30 years my wife and I have lived as if we have one paycheck and saved and saved an S. Avenued. Today we have net worth near $5 million and plan to retire in 8 months with monthly retirement income of OV. Er $20,000 and our net worth will contain. Net worth is a difficult thing. Adding up different kinds of money is tough. $266,000 net worth at 65. That plus social security are simply not enough. If you don't make dollar 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 while you sleep you will work till you die. Compound interest is the number one moneymaker in the world. Use it and live good. I am 89 and I know it works. It doesn't what you think it should be. It depends on how long you live and inflation. A million dollars at 65 won't mean squat if you haven't kept up with inflation. Next news. Using your 401k to pay off a mortgage. Investopedia. There are a few advantages, along with some significant drawbacks, to using assets targeted for your retirement to pay off your mortgage balance. Below are your comments. The best advice regarding paying off your house is that if you are a bad saver, pay it off. If you are good at saving, take that extra savings that you would have put toward the extra mortgage payment and invest it. I'm a good saver with a very low mortgage interest rate. I'm in no hurry to pay. Not everybody bought $300,000 plus homes. There is rural America and urban America. 
every situation is different. If I'm paying 3% on a $300,000 mortgage vs 3% on a $100,000 mortgage is a sizable difference. All interest is front-loaded. Then add in utilities, property tax. Homes and vehicles eat into this. Should also keep in mind that, unless you have a huge mortgage, the larger standard deduction may nay. Gate being able to deduct mortgage interest. Why pay off the mortgage assuming you have done a refi in the past three years? I hope you can get a H. I G H E R a return in your 401. K. Then the 3 to 4% interest rate on your loan. Plus the 401. K. Continues to grow tax free until you actually retire. Cons. Next news. Sam Altman's ousting and possible return to OpenAI. What we know. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. OpenAI stunned employees, investors and much of Silicon Valley on Friday by ousting Chief Executive. Bay Officer Sam Altman, who more than any other figure had emerged as the face of artificial intelligence. Ants following the viral success of his company's chatbot, ChatGPT. Almost instantly, the world's best-known AI startup, which has been in talks to sell employee shares to investors at an $86 billion valuation, was thrown into disarray. Several people, including OpenAI president Greg Bro. Below are your comments. Whatever triggered this, it was handled very poorly by the board. You don't make a snap decision like this without first talking to your major investors. Sounds like a personal beef between Sutskever and Altman, with Brockman on Altman's side. The org should just split. It's obvious that Altman has no interest in the original good for the planet dogma. The dude just wants to make a lot of money. I would never go back. Try to take my company from me. Plain discrimination, Mira Marathi is much more capable than this whining kid and wannabe Steve Jobs. Dot. Careful what you wish, this guy could be a Sam Bankman fried in steroids. Next news. Dow Jones futures. Market power trend looms. NVIDIA, open AI key for these AI stocks. Investors Business Daily. Dow Jones futures. The market rally is about to enter a power trend. NVIDIA earnings and OpenAI chaos are key for AI stocks such as Microsoft and Palantir. Below are your comments. One thing you must learn to master as an investor is to get hold of your emotions. The financial media will toy with them every which way possible. If you can't then don't do things yourself. I grew my portfolio by over $150,000 in the past two quarters and my biggest secret was the trend in G. Alger. Why the people sell? I think because either they need immediately money to meet their financial needs, or they think the company is not valuable and profitable, so that lost confidence. Otherwise they won't sell and should not sell. If you want to make money from stocks, you have to be good picker. Investor is to get hold of your emotions.
The financial media will toy with them every which way possible. If you can't then don't do things yourself. I grew my portfolio by over $150,000 in the PAW. Intel will be making all the chips if Taiwan falls. Americans were 7 trillion wealthier under Trump. Next news. Bond yields are high and prices are falling. What does it mean for your portfolio? Smart asset. New bonds pay more and old bonds are worth less. This is the plain English version of what's going on in the bond market right now. Translated to finance speak, bond yields are on the rise while returns are steadily falling. For investors, it's a good time to hold and an even better time to buy. The post-bond yields are high and prices are falling. What does it mean for your portfolio? Appeared first on Smart Reads by Smart Asset. Below are your comments. U.S. national debt surged by more than $500 billion in just 20 days to reach $33.5 trillion, according to data provided by the Treasury Department last week. I'd say given this high volatility, wouldn't it be prudent to create a portfolio based on someone else? Say successful model? I've achieved a remarkable $130,000. 18%. Return in 4 months using the model portfolio approach. Lock in higher rates and claw back some of your tax dollars. In 1981 the 30-year bond yield was 15%. There was 33T less government debt at that time. Just saying. All these pundit journalists are claiming that yields on long bonds are going to drop. Don't bet on it. Next news. What will my lifestyle look like if I retire with $20 million? Smart asset. Imagine awakening to the gentle sound of waves washing up on a pristine beach, steps away from your Luxury Villa You enjoy a gourmet breakfast while planning your day, debating between taking a tranquil boat trip or enjoying a private tour of a renowned local museum. All of these are made possible because you've amassed the post what a retirement lifestyle with $20 million looks like appeared first on Smart Reads by SMA. RT Asset Below are your comments. You can withdraw $500,000 per year for 4 decades, NOT 40 decades. 40 decades is 400 years. If I use a financial manager I want one who checks and double checks his work. Most people nearing end of life can barely control their bodily organs let alone enjoy life. Spend it young. Sorry, that's not enough money to fly private very often. One trip a month at $5,000 per hour by 4 hours each way would be $480,000 per year for a mid-size jet with a 4-hour range. You probably need to retire with $40 million to fly private. We have $20 million and have seen none of the so-called drawbacks. The money does not make the person. Next news. Investors are pushing bank stocks higher. Analysts are urging caution. Yahoo Finance. Bank stocks are on pace for their best month in nearly three years. 
Analysts caution that a lot of uncertainty still lies ahead for the battered industry. Below are your comments. There are screaming buys in the the bank sector. When the panic hit a few months ago, people sold all bank stocks. But some banks are rock solid and those banks will rise 50 to 75 percent in the coming 12 months. By the time these mostly worthless analysts get excited about bank stocks, they'll be much higher t. Han they are today. Take that to the bank. Dot. The banks are all hiding their commercial loan loses. Just give it a little more time. The banks are hiding their bond portfolios losses. AFS. Available for sale. Bonds at current market value would cut bank values by a trillion dollars so they switched to HTM. Hold to maturity. Just research why SVB failed. Next news. The housing market is historically unaffordable, but a record number of Americans now own their home. E without a mortgage. Business Insider. While 8% mortgage rates mean potential buyers are squeezed, the last decade saw a surge in people WH. O own their homes outright. Below are your comments. Owning your home outright means you now just rent from the county, the true owner. You still have overhead and a ghost landlord, but you now have a place that is rent controlled. A 30 year mortgage can make you pay three times the cost of the original sale and you don't own it. Th. E Bank. Actual L. Two keys to financial success for the average person. Own your home, and learn how to do your ow. N repairs. I'll live in a tent before I pay the current prices to get into this market. P.T. Barnum had a name for people that don't own their home. Author can't do math, unless 50% of houses burned down in 2012. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.